After searching for more than seven hours, deputies in Ludington say it is very likely a 38 year old man lost in Lake Michigan has drowned. If it is true, this is the third person to drown in Lake Michigan near Ludington in just the past seven days. 13 on your side reporter Phil Dawson is here with what we know about tonight's search. Phil. Uh, Juliet it is still underway in the lake by the Ludington State Park Beach House at the Sabo River Inlet, but it is challenging because the water is very rough and now that it's dark, even more difficult for the rescue and recovery personnel. They may soon suspend the search until daylight. About 3.15 this afternoon, the Sheriff's Department says four people, two adults and two children, all related, were swept out of the mouth of the Sauble River outlet into Lake Michigan. Two children and one adult were pulled to safety, but a 38-year-old man is still missing. A pair of Mason County Sheriff's deputies were nearby and one put on a life jacket and went into the lake but was unable to reach the man. Earlier this week, Monday and Tuesday, many of these same searchers spent many hours looking for 18-year-old Daniel McCarthy of Baldwin. He was lost in the lake in the same area near Ludington on Monday. His body was recovered on Tuesday. And last Thursday, 14-year-old Albriana Huck of Ludington drowned at Stearns Park Beach. Three deaths in seven days in Lake Michigan by Ludington. The sheriff says the heavy rains last weekend have created dangerous conditions at the mouth of the rivers entering the lake by the state park, and they ask people not to swim in those areas until the water returns to normal levels. The sheriff is also asking the Department of Natural Resources to temporarily prohibit swimming at the mouth of the Sable River until conditions improve. Earlier this week, barriers were put up to close the North Pier to the Ludington Lighthouse because of dangerously high waves. The sheriff says there are strong currents in the water and everyone should be cautious when swimming in Lake Michigan.